I'm ready. I've been in Europe a little too long. He said he liked my first. Came down to the meet him 
in, in, in Frank Cam's class and saw me and my group from Europe, my European group, and said, you haven't lost nothing. And let's forget about what happened in the past and let's go on. So I read, I've been ready to heal. And that's where we are now. But Bruce have done one hell of a job dealing with the blues, dealing with these people, dealing with all of us who went, even once before me. You know, uh, I was out of here. I was gone to Europe. But at the same time, I was coming back and doing the strip. But I was doing what I had to do in Europe on the French label or the German label. Uh, not, thing you put yeah, in. not knowing uh, what's going on really in the blues. All I know when I left here, Johnny Copeland was just coming up the step. I was moving out of the event because I, have, I was locked into the uh, gas crisis and all of this disco tech trip coming through. And I said, I can't take it because I have been ripping these roads, opening doors for musicians that would not be at these places I played. People wouldn't have them until I have a chance to talk to these musicians and open some doors, get them these outside jobs where they could make a living playing some music, hopefully. And uh, by then, a few couple of years later, okay, everybody's talking about where the blues is back, you know, and after the blues brothers hit the strip. And I said, well, everybody know where I'm at. I've had Gate My Brown in my house. I've had Big Daddy Kenzie, the Kenzie Report in my house, Big Voice Odom, Eddie Clearwater's in my house in Paris. When they play the Meridian Hotel for two weeks, we make dinner for them because they, it's not going to work like a duck in Chicago or over in Memphis where you can eat like you want to do like mm -hmm. How is that? Support them. But nobody don't know what I'm feeling by not being recognized when I'm over there when I'm, my home is here. And finally, Bruce recognized. Oh, well, those two records got you, got you back. Exactly. But I had sent material out back. The uh, Jim seems to have played a good role. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. I think uh, we're trying to get Blues producer on the Audi Awards. Too. Well, you know, like I said last night, uh, I, I named Jim Gaines the, the superstar producer for that of the Blues. And I mean that because through my career, I never had a lot of studio experience. In a, in a way, I have, but it was so spread out. And having somebody who really care, having somebody who really want to be important and really laid back. Jim is really laid back. But he's very positive. He's a great listener. And when he walked with me, he said, well, where, where, you know, you, you sing, man. You sing. Do your thing. It's not a problem. Oh, wow, you play, man. It's okay. I said, let's see what we come up with. I sing soul music. I mean, soul music, blues, it's the same, you know. A rock and roll, whatever, gospel. I do this. But the fact is, Bring Ruth around somewhere. What do you see? Something that I don't, I might play every day, but I don't know where it's going. I have to take my chances on every song I make, throw it out to the audience and see if they like it. Well, they do. You see what I'm saying? And when this happened, I called James Sober and said, I told him in the, in the past, if I get something going, if you get something going, I'm going to call you up if you're interested. We go from there. Because you know he owned the club up in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Called the joint through the years and it was a big jazz club. And he booked us. He booked Coco. He booked Lonnie Brooks, Jimmy Johnson, all these Russian people in this club. He lost money on the blues. But he did. You know, he didn't come out like legends at Buddy Guy, but he did come out like Checkerboard, but he couldn't hang with that. Mm -hmm. It's not Eau Claire, Wisconsin, it's not Chicago. Okay. So <laughs> We, we, we still do our thing. Jim got a new record right after mine, which is a good record. I like make sure my grave is kept clean. Um, now he got a brand new one that he told me the title this morning. It's a nice record. So we co-write, we listen, we help each other as much as we can. You see my face on his record, you see his face on my record. And, and you notice on stage, he have a play. He's not just a rhythm man back there. And, uh, like Willie Hayes tonight, uh, he, he's working with Junior Wells, and I call him up, it's okay. You know, I'd love to have you with me if it's possible, because we talk about this for years and years and years. Well, the big question then is, uh, what about coming back to the States? Uh, the I, would, I would love to, but I'm not going to jump the gun. I'm not going to say to the people, thank you for accepting me back. Uh, now I'm able to play to 5,000 people that I'm able to support myself. Uh, I want to wait to see if people really is going to handle this situation right. You know, the blues is the blues, it's right on. You look at Buddy Guy today, Buddy Guy didn't just get there because he's a blues man. People talk, those important people talk to put him in the right light. Now, a lot of us been up here, but Colin coming back, you know, 
Uh, Newton Allison, I think, uh, I think I have something going that maybe the rest of them don't have. I am doing two sides of the world. And I am, I, I'm feeling good when I say I'm coming back home on tour. You understand? And last year I spent three months, maybe three and a half months, working back in my own home country. This year, it's going to be the same. Uh, and I'm trying to make sure I got three or four months to work in Europe, three or four months to work at home, have, have a month for me some rest, and a month for me to put another record together. And I think it's fair. Because if I move here, I can't stay in my house anyway. If I move in Europe, I can't stay in my house anyway. But if I move here, I want to move close to my son, maybe. For instance, or within driving distance. Come back to Memphis, I guess. The window fish. Exactly. I love Memphis. But I don't want Memphis to become another Toronto where it's oversaturated with all a bunch of people looking for breaks and chances in music and whatnot. Like Chicago was the same thing. We all died down there. The, the great guys got to leave us behind, and if we don't get lucky, we are left behind. You know, so like I said, I'm 56 years old, and I'm almost 57, and, you know, I'm, I'm feeling like the return of Luther Allison. But how am I returning? What happened? I was very visual the whole time I was here. Even when I left, I told people I can't take no more. I need help. I got an opportunity to go to Europe. The same as Champion Jack Dupree, the same as Black Swain, Mickey Baker, these guys who stayed, D.D. Bridgewater, who's in Paris right now, who has gotten a break. Lucky Peterson is in France now, who's got a great break. But I open those doors. How is it that uh, the European audiences seem to accept the blues a little more than you say over here? Well, actually, the European market. There's a lot of open air festivals like tonight. There's a lot of theater. Theaters where people go listen to the blues. The promoters put the blues, the gospel, the jazz together. The, the, the socialist music, the reggae music together. We have to put blues here, rock and roll, there, jazz over there, gospel. No. Yeah. You gotta put it where everybody hear and make a choice. Kids love it, but if they don't know they love it, they don't know. That's radio. Exactly. And television. We got to have it. Europe, you're going to see video clips of Luther Allison. A show, a live show. A Lucky Peterson of my son, Bernard Allison. And over you, who is Bernard Allison? Who is Lucky Peterson? Who is a lot of people? Over here. We hard to get a name in a newspaper or in a magazine, in a musical book. It's hard. It is hard. Before I left, after I came back from being stranded in California in 1968-67, I heard a word called Blue Society. I got to Europe, I saw what a society meant, like a government supporting musical programs in France, in Germany, in Switzerland, or whatever. And I looked back and said, how come the American, the great American, can't understand this, can't put this together. How come we can't get in that hood and make it work? That's why I wrote the song. We it's got American music. Hood. It's American music too. Yes. It started here. How come, basically, how come we could not move and play a song like a Chuck Berry song unless we were called rock and roll? Mm -hmm. But how come the rock and rollers can come now and say, we return to the blues? <clears throat> They're, they're all playing the blues. Exactly. All the rock bands are playing exactly. the blues. Exactly. But some back, some of the people are saying, look guys, you're not playing the blues. Right. They're, they're taking it. You got a French they're musician. Stealing. Or you got you still got a white musician. No. That's stupid. That don't make sense. Yes. Okay? The trick is Luther Allison wanna come home, but I wanna be wanted. The French, the European people have told me. You are the savior of the blues, period. You are our father over here. We love you. Don't go back. I'm listening to that, but I'm also listening to the voice of home. I miss fish.